and um, I'm being a little facetious, but not yep. really. Yep. So, so help me understand that point of view, which is one could listen to what you're saying and, and say, wow, you've really made the case for how we can't miss this diagnosis. Mm -hmm. um, we, we should just make sure that every single person doesn't have hypothyroidism, even if they're biochemically normal, mm -hmm. and even if their symptoms are kind of vague and could belong to something else. So mm -hmm. how do we how do we make sense of the other side of this? Okay, let now we're talking about diagnosis. It's very important because what's what's true for diagnosis, it's not true for treatment when we assess the thyroid function. So when you are assessing the thyroid function for in doing diagnosis, you you normally we measure TSH and free T4. Again, TSH is extremely sensitive, free T4 is sensitive, and T3, there's no role in the diagnosis of hypothyroidism because T3 is going to be normal. I can guarantee you that. Uh, T3, unless the patient does not have a thyroid or is an overt case of hypothyroidism, in, in a TSH 10, TSH, T3 is going to be normal because the, the system evolved to defend itself against iron deficiency. So... When, it's ch when the system is challenged, it, it does everything possible to maintain T3 normal. So uh, elevates TSH, free T4 comes down in the beginning of hypothyroid, the T3 is normal. 